If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports news. Whether you're a Patriots fan or not, this is the perfect way to meet all of your sports needs and is a platform I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to catch me live talking about training camp recaps, etc. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, we're going to be talking about Antonio Brown to the Patriots. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably already know that the Oakland Raiders have officially released wide receiver Antonio Brown. And the release came after Antonio Brown himself actually posted on Instagram telling the Oakland Raiders to release him. And it's really been a crazy whirlwind really ever since the playoffs hit um, around last, uh, last season when you're looking at Antonio Brown, and ultimately, it's why the Steelers had to trade him. He was getting to be, as I'm sure a lot of people have told you, air quote, diva, and then he gets traded to the Oakland Raiders. You know, Antonio Brown's going crazy. He's been saying that he's always wanted to be an Oakland Raider, and then he suffers a lot of different, what I would take it as, mental breakdowns. He was skipping practices. He had that weird incident where he had his frostbitten feet. He got into the fight with the Oakland Raiders general manager in which Antonio Brown threatened to hit him and was actually throwing racial slurs at him. And he taped over a phone call with the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. And to top all of that off, as I'm sure a lot of you have heard, Antonio Brown was trying to file grievances multiple times against the NFL for them not letting him wear the helmet that he specifically wanted to wear. As we all know, the NFL just continues to try to get more safe, and a lot of helmets have been banned, including Tom Brady's helmets that he's wore really his whole career, so he's had to adjust his helmet. And Tom Brady was actually asked about the situation as, again, he was a player who had to switch his helmet. And so it's something that the whole league is familiar with, especially with Antonio Brown's entire situation and him really just coming off as a diva. After we heard about the issues with the Raiders general manager, we heard that the team was actually looking to suspend Antonio Brown, and then uh, their head coach actually came out and said, no, like we, we plan on playing him week one against the Broncos. Brown then basically came out, and from what I hear, it was an emotional apology to everyone that is involved in the Oakland Raiders staff and all of the players, um, but the team actually decided to fine him for getting into that fight with the general manager. And really, I feel like that was the Oakland Raiders' last job. Now, they did obviously want to keep him. They obviously wanted to have him on the team, but he did need to face some consequences, which is extremely understandable. Uh, Bill Belichick would have probably fined him uh, with his first or second incident, so the Oakland Raiders were definitely lenient with him. But because of this fine, it actually stripped Antonio Brown of $29 million in guaranteed money. And really, I think that that was the, uh, the over point for Antonio Brown. Once he lost that $29 million in guaranteed money, that's when he had his last draw and he wanted to leave the Oakland Raiders. Not to mention the fact that a couple days ago, he actually unfollowed the Oakland Raiders and the Oakland Raiders quarterback Derek Carr on Instagram. The Oakland Raiders had to trade a third and fifth round pick to the Steelers in order to acquire Brown. And uh, officially, the Steelers have totally whooped the Oakland Raiders for that, but really, if you're, you're thinking about it, at the time, the Raiders had won this trade, but I don't think anyone really saw this coming with Antonio Brown. So now the begging question comes, and that is, should the Patriots, you know, decide to, to look into Antonio Brown? Should they sign Antonio Brown to the active roster? I want to start off by saying that, interestingly, interestingly enough, ever since being released by the Oakland Raiders, there has been a lot of news about Antonio Brown relating back to the Patriots. The Patriots are actually favorites to land Antonio Brown, uh, actually more than every other team, that being more than the Eagles, than the Giants, the Dolphins, any other team in the NFL. A scout in the AFC actually was asked about Antonio Brown and where do you think Antonio Brown is going to end up? Where do you think his route goes now that he's a free agent in the NFL? And the scout had one word to say, the New England Patriots. And I guess that's three words, but uh, more of a sentence. 
Something to also note is that the New England Patriots were previously interested in Antonio Brown when the whole Antonio Brown sweepstakes was going around. You know, where is Antonio Brown going to get traded from the Pittsburgh Steelers? The big thing with that, though, was that the Pittsburgh Steelers are very, very picky when it comes to the New England Patriots. They already fully came out and said, we will not trade Antonio Brown to the New England Patriots. Obviously, that rivalry is pretty big, and they know that the Steelers fans would just go insane if they made a deal with the Patriots, especially after James Harrison was released and then uh, signed with the Patriots. We all know how the Steelers fans took that. So it didn't really matter what the Patriots were willing to give up, and at that time, I actually heard that a first round pick was in play for the Patriots to give up and the Patriots were willing to give up more than the Oakland Raiders were but in the end the Steelers just did not want to trade with the Patriots. So where does it leave the team now? Now that Antonio Brown is a free agent and he can sign anywhere that he wants. Now before I get into my opinion and what I feel should happen I do want to say that I will not be surprised at all. 0% of me will be surprised to start hearing rumors about the New England Patriots being interested in Antonio Brown and that being a rumor that floats up in the sky. With that being said though, Pats Nation do not get super hyped up to start hearing these rumors, okay? Because this has happened a lot with the New England Patriots in the past, especially this offseason. You know, Mike Daniels, Gerald McCoy, you know, Vikings tight end in Kyle Rudolph. There's been just multiple rumors about the Patriots being interested in players and then them missing out on these players. Antonio Brown is 31 years old. Okay, He only has how much more time in the NFL, and I'm sure at this point he would like to play in the Super Bowl. He would actually like to go back to the playoffs, but Antonio Brown does not strike me as the type of guy to take a friendly pay cut to play with the Patriots to win another Super Bowl. I won't be surprised to hear that Antonio Brown wants to play for a contender, but Antonio Brown is not going to take a pay cut. He is going to go and he's going to cash with the team that is going to give him big bucks. And if I'm correct, the New England Patriots carry right now about $10 million in cap. And I can already guarantee you that there are going to be other teams around the NFL that are going to offer so much more money than the New England Patriots are going to do. Not to mention the fact that the Patriots are not drowning in their need for a receiver like they were when this whole Antonio Brown sweepstakes was going on earlier this offseason. Right now, the team has Julian Edelman. They have Josh Gordon. They have Demarius Thomas. Nikhil Harry will return later into the season, and those are just more of your top-tier guys. Okay, we're not even talking about Jacoby Myers or Gunnar Olszewski. Just definitely have... A way more put together offense, more specifically a way more put together wide receiver group than they did at that time. This is easily one of the better receiver groups in the NFL as long as they can stay healthy. Now, I mean, let's just for a second pretend that Antonio Brown does join the Patriots, okay? That would definitely secure them as the best wide receiver group in the entire NFL. But at the same time, That's not necessarily what they need. You know, we don't need the best wide receiver group in the NFL to get past. I mean, look what we had last year, and we won the Super Bowl. And there's no question about the talent that Antonio Brown has, and there's no question about what he could bring to the New England Patriots. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. If Antonio Brown went to the New England Patriots, that offense would be unstoppable. This would easily be one of the best offenses, if not the best offense that we have ever seen with the New England Patriots. But to me, it's what comes with Antonio Brown, you know, off the field, off of game day. Whatever team Antonio Brown decides to go to, he that team is going to be followed with all the media, okay? Because Antonio Brown has been a media circle, the media's attention ever since he had started to go really just off the rails. I mean, you're hearing about all the issues that the Pittsburgh Steelers were having at the time and how they're not really having these issues anymore ever since Antonio Brown left. And then Antonio Brown went to the Oakland Raiders and the Oakland Raiders were the team that was getting media circle around them. They were the team that was having all the drama. And as Patriots fans, we know what it's like to have drama. We have drama on such a consistent basis But right now, we have been doing so good avoiding this. 
We've been good at focusing on the task at hand. And to me, if Antonio Brown came, it would sort of be a potential deadly acquisition, if you will, just because of the baggage that Brown bring, Brown Brown brings. And just also at the fact that I personally feel Antonio Brown needs to take a little bit of time for himself and figure out his whole mental stability because obviously there's a little bit of something going on in there. And I understand that the Patriots have turned players around in the past, you know, Randy Moss and whatnot. But to me, I think that this is just such a different situation than the Patriots have had to deal with in the past. I mean, Antonio Brown is literally whining about every little thing that he does not agree with. Now, I can understand about being upset about losing $29 million in guaranteed money, but at the same time, everything else is unexplainable. And at the same time, he did deserve to be fined. All in all, my big thing with Antonio Brown is that I don't want him coming here and ruining what the Patriots have really built, you know, building good relationships with each other building a very good locker room, both in and off the field type of presence. Because drama can easily bring down a team, okay? It could be a difference between winning and losing a game, and that is not the type of distraction that the Patriots need right now. So if the Patriots were to sign Antonio Brown, then that is great from a football standpoint, but it is very, very worrisome from every other standpoint. But I mean, he is regarded as the clown of the league, and a lot of people are, you know, starting to hate Antonio Brown, and a lot of people hate the Patriots as an organization and a team, so I guess in some ways it just makes total sense. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Antonio Brown being released by the Oakland Raiders and rumors circling around about him potentially joining the Patriots or whatnot? And what do you guys think about my opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you have not already. If you guys would like to grab some Patriots Global merch, there'll be a link to my merch store in the description below. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows when go to Patriots Global family. Other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.